Hey travelers, today we're talking about one of my all-time favorite destinations, Bali. I've been to Bali quite a few times and I just love everything about it. The beaches, the food, the culture, you name it. But as much as I love Bali, there are definitely some things you need to watch out for. Like many popular destinations, there are plenty of tourist scams and traps in Bali. That's why I'm here today to share with you some of the most popular scams in Bali and what you need to know to avoid them on your trip. Number 10. Fake EVOA Website If you're planning a trip to Bali, I'm sure you've heard about the EVOA or the Electronic Visa on Arrival. It's more hassle-free than the old VOA and makes your arrival in Bali so much smoother. But there's something you need to watch out for when applying for the EVOA, and that's fake websites. These websites may even rank high in Google search. You have to be very careful because these scam websites may steal not only your money, but also your identity. The only official EVOA website for Indonesia is this one, https colon backslash backslash molina.imigrasi.go.id slash. And I cannot stress this enough. Make sure you use only this official website when applying for your EVOA. Number nine, credit card fraud. Credit card fraud is a widespread issue in Indonesia. There's a common scam where a hotel insider gives scammers your name and room number and they'll call asking for your credit card information over the phone. So don't give out your credit card info over the phone in Bali. When you go shopping or dining in restaurants, try to stick to using cash whenever possible. Also, watch out for ATMs. Even the ones you've used before can suddenly become scams. To be extra safe, keep only a small amount of money on your card and transfer larger amounts from this main savings account when needed. Number 8. Currency Exchange Scams Probably this is the most common scam in Bali. Beware of roadside money exchangers offering too-good-to-be-true rates. Some of these sneaky money changers will try to lure you in with a great rate, but once you're inside, they'll use all sorts of tricks to shortchange you. They count out a 10,000 rupiah note as a 100,000 rupiah note and then you're short 90,000. It's best to only use licensed and accredited money exchange companies with counters and paid staff. The exchange rate may not be the best, but at least you can trust it to be honest. Number 7. Phony Taxi Drivers Southeast Asian taxi drivers tend to have a bit of a sketchy reputation, and the drivers in Bali are no exception. There is a trusty cab company in town, the Bluebird Group. These drivers use meters, wear formal attire, and display their ID prominently. But beware, not all taxis are created equal. Some less reputable companies try to mimic the Bluebird style, so always double-check the meter or the price quoted in your Rideshare app before getting in. And if you're paying cash, make sure to mention the price beforehand to avoid any surprises. And if you're happy with your ride, don't forget to show your appreciation with a tip. Number 6. Closed Attractions and Entrance Fees Some tourist attractions in Bali may need entrance fees. Scammers will often pretend to be the entrance gatekeepers to a temple or tourist site, but don't be fooled. Before you pay, always check for the official ticket window. They may also tell you the temple is closed and offer to take you somewhere else. The simple advice is don't go. They're likely bringing you to places where they can get a commission. When you visit the temples, also watch out for those tour guides who offer free service, as they may later ask for a contribution. The key is to stay confident, give a smile and a thank you to those who approach and double check if a place is actually closed before going elsewhere. Number 5. Dangerous Arak Thirsty for a taste of Bali? Look no further than the local spirit, Arak. Made from toddy palm, it's a staple of celebrations and festivities across the island. You can find Arak all over Bali, from fancy hotels to local hangouts. But beware, some restaurants might try to cut costs by using cheaper substitutes in their cocktails, which can be deadly. The danger of methanol poisoning is real, and each year, it claims the lives of both visitors and locals alike. So stick to the safe option of beer or imported spirits and always ask to see the bottle opened in front of you. Number 4. Using Drugs Say no to drugs when in Bali. The consequences of drug trafficking and possession are severe. Save yourself the trouble and just say no. Party drugs like marijuana, MDMA, and cocaine fall under the Group 1 classification, and even a small amount could land you in jail for up to 12 years and a huge fine. And not only are the consequences dire, but the quality of these illegal drugs is questionable. 
They often contain dangerous contaminants that result in hospitalization and overdoses. Don't fall for drug dealers trying to take advantage of you. Some might even be working with the police. When out at night, don't be fooled by locals offering magic mushrooms and other drugs. They might say it's legal, but it's not. Just keep walking when you hear someone whisper, magic mushrooms, and stick to what's safe and legal. Number three, false handmade items. If you're on the hunt for authentic Balinese art, beware of sneaky salespeople trying to pass off mass-produced goods as homemade masterpieces. Don't fall for the handmade by local artists line. It's all too often just a ploy to up the price. Don't lose hope though. Bali still has plenty of talented artisans creating beautiful and unique pieces. Just make sure to do your research and shop at reputable markets or better yet, directly from the artists themselves. And remember, when it comes to buying art, it's not just about where it's made, but also the materials used. Make sure to ask about the sustainability of the production process to ensure you're not only getting a one-of-a-kind piece, but also supporting ethical and environmentally friendly practices. Number two, rental bike scams. Renting a motorbike in Bali can be a fun and cheap way to get around the island, but watch out for some rental companies that have been known to rent out damaged scooters. They might stick you with repair fees even if you didn't cause the damage. No need to stress though, you can protect yourself by doing a quick check on the rental company through online reviews and snap a few pics of the bike before you hit the road. That way, you've got proof just in case they try to blame you for anything when you return. Number one, Bali Belly. Well, this is not really a tourist scam, but it can put a damper on your holiday. Bali Belly is just a fancy term for food poisoning that some tourists can get in Bali. It's quite common among tourists. I've known quite a few friends who get Bali Belly while visiting the island. One of them even got hospitalized. The main thing is to steer clear of tap water and the ice made from it. When ordering drinks, just make sure to let them know you don't want any ice. If you order fresh fruit juice, do check whether they use mineral water or cooked water. And be careful with pre-chopped fruit and packaged food. There's a higher chance it's been handled. Also, be cautious of raw seafood. Having said that, don't avoid local food. If you do, then you miss out on a large part of the Bali experience. Look for places that are busy and clean and avoid any stalls that don't look hygienic. And don't forget, having travel insurance can be a lifesaver in case you do fall ill, as the hospital fees can be quite high in Bali. I hope you enjoyed the video and had an idea about some of the scams and mistakes to avoid for your trip to Bali. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and safe travels.